What's going on people? John Okafor is back here with another video. As the title says, we do a 30 pound food shop showing you what to buy to make lean muscle gains. You know, I'll take you through like my main protein, carbs and fat sources, foods I buy in Lidl and how you can really do that on the cheap. So what I need to do is quickly get dressed. Let's not waste time. I'm gonna take you along with me too little, show you what to buy, how much it comes up to. Usually people say that eating is quite expensive, like eating good, really, really expensive. However, shops like Lidl, Aldi especially, can really help keep them costs down and fuel you in the gym and make them positive gains. Anyway, we've done a giveaway last week, so I'm gonna let you know who won that giveaway. So a quick little shout out to Samuel Maxwell. I just done all the comments I saw and I just wrote all the names in a randomizer and it's quick random and that's the name that came up. So shout out to you. I'm gonna DM you in the next day or two to let you know and give you your gift voucher but um yeah thank you very much for everyone that entered that and um thank you for all the support the channel has grown in the last two months like you've gained like something like nearly 200 subscribers in the past two months alone so thank you very much anyway without further ado let's get ready and let's head to Lidl <laughs> We pulled up, it's a bit of a wet one, have a look at that. But let's not waste no time, let's get straight in there. Got my masks, got my bag, thinking of the environment, so let's just get straight into there. All right, we're here. I'm gonna take you through my main carb sources now. And also where I get my micronutrients, so this is where my fruits and my salads, that's where I get them. And this is where I get a lot of my carb sources, so. Barbers. One and two. Get some salads and stuff like that. Really nice as well. One thing with avocados. Overindulge in avocados. Good fats, don't get it twisted. But if you overdo it, they can pack a lot of calories. So it's like working out a good balance in terms of avocados and how much you're eating. Don't, don't overdo it. But in terms of having a good fat, yeah, avocados don't go amiss. What are Chicken wraps again. When I want to do like like my home or healthier version of foods that I like, so like Nando's, chicken wraps, stuff like that, they're how I do it. And by the way I cook it, so I grill a lot of my meats just because, or put them in the oven, just because it's probably the healthiest way to cook meat instead of like frying it. But when I do like homemade Nando's, like the wraps and stuff, that's how I go about doing it. See, I'm lazy, so I just, just get the microwave rice, just because I'm lazy. Peel out um, the whole grain rice just because yeah. you could make it bare too but if you only like to cook it yourself but I'm just convenient isn't it I'm a man that likes convenience so that's really about it in terms of that let me put you on to something now yeah see this couscous now so, you see these these are like these are my favorite things at the moment eat so much of it but because the calories are not that high and they're not too full of carbs. Like, I feel quite full when I eat it as well. However, in terms of like me putting on weight, bad weight or anything, or calories, being high too much calories, man, like, that's just not a thing. That like, is one of my favorite things at the moment. I don't know how long it's gonna last, probably get into a new phase and eat something else, but like I eat a lot of um, couscous at the moment. If you're trying to satisfy your sweet tooth or you're looking for like healthy snacks, like you can have stuff like these cranberry bars, like these like these muesli cranberry bars. Like I will just have one and have it in moderation. I have one a day or just like something just to nibble on. Like they're only 97 calories a bar. Like you can have them like people say you can't have snacks. I used to think that as well. However, it's all about moderation and balancing it and just watching what you eat. Like I use my, my fitness pal, track my calories, make sure I'm not overdoing anything. If I, have, if I can eat it, I'll have it in there, man. We're trying to live good and have a good life. You know, you don't need to restrict yourself in like snacks and foods that you like. I mean, what's a food shop without eggs? Everyone, everyone knows about eggs, isn't it? So, got one of these. So you see how it says, so milk. Like I've stopped drinking cow's milk. And I usually would get 
two cartons of soy milk because I feel good. I don't. I think it tastes better anyway, and it's actually quite healthy for you. It's high in protein. Protein and calcium levels are quite are quite comparable. They're not a million miles away, and it's just generally healthy for you. And I think that soy milk just sits better with me anyway. So yeah. So yeah, here we go. Boom, the meats. Meatballs. This is one. Then, so I don't really try to do that much, but then pack it in variation of other things. Also, I want to get myself some burgers. Again, one packet. I'm not really too fan of mints. Yeah, man, I'm just not a big fan of mints at all. Like, just gone off here, I've just like other meat. I think it's just a bit boring of a meat sauce. Um, on to the chicken. That's the one everyone's on about when it comes to making games. So yeah, so here is where I get my wings, my thighs and chicken breasts. So let me crack on with the rest of the food shop. I will catch you at the checkout where I am paying and yeah. Probably uh, see when I'm checking out. Please scan an item. Please scan an item. Yep, yeah, so as you can see, we're out. We're gonna just put the shopping into the car. And yeah, also, I hope you see the new quality. We're running that 4K, baby. So you get to see my ugly face even closer. Yeah, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're running that 4K. But we're just gonna put the shopping in the whip. And I'll tell you how much it will cost. Anyways, we are back. I'm going to show you what we have just bought over there. Let me show you what I got overall and pack it away and tell you how much it all cost in the end. Like we said, we've got the wraps, some rolls for breakfast, we've got salad, end up getting some more rice, some couscous, we've got like my newsy bar, if you like to focus up. Then for meats, we've got chicken wings, chicken thighs, chicken, chicken burgers, beef burgers, breasts, and meatballs. Like so, I ended up getting um, two packets of avocado, not just the one. So, reduced fat coleslaw, that's just, just to add in the meals, like a little bit here and there just to give some flavours. We get got some sauces. You can see we've got three other sauces, we've got the tomato and some eggs. We need to get a six pack because I've still got some left over if it wants to focus. Still got some left over there. So it's, they just like to just top it up. As you can see, it's not a massive food haul. End up finding some soy milk in the end. So all is well. As you can see, it's not the, like massive. Again, this is just like a top up in terms of like a weekly shop, things that I haven't finished at home, I'm just adding on top of here. So yeah, but in terms of what I'd buy in a week shop, these are the essentials, these are my go-tos, these are things I'm always replacing every week, you know. With like weekly shopping, I have like my base food, stuff I'd always have in the fridge or in the cupboards then I'll just add here and there just to supplement it if I want to make a particular meal. Anyway, I'm going to put this away, put it all in the fridge and cupboards, and I'll talk you through how much this all cost in the end. Okay, so all of that in total cost me 25 pounds 90. So we even came under the 30 pounds budget I set for my weekly food shop. Like I said, when I'll show you the food, there are some stuff I do have in the kitchen already, so I didn't really need to buy it, and I was only like just topping up things I already had. However, that being said, it shows that it can be done, it is affordable to eat clean and eat to put lean muscle mass. It's not too expensive. If you shop in places like Lidl and Audi, it makes it really, really affordable for you guys as students or kids still in school and you want to like 
start taking control of your diet and eating clean. So yeah, if you really like this video and you've got this far ahead, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like and leave a comment as well. It does really help. I reply to all my comments and I read through everything. Same with Instagram, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ping me a DM. I reply pretty quick and pretty active on social media, like I said in previous videos. Anyways, I hope this video has been really, really helpful and really, really informative and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.